All right, what is going on, YouTube? Tail here with another video, man. First of all, before this even starts off, let me start this video off by apologizing to all my OG subscribers because at the end of the day, all my OG subscribers know that before this channel became a channel that was just all gaming and all music and shit, this channel was very much a Dokkan channel. Very much. The only thing I posted was Dokkan content. Like, if we go back in my channel history, you'll see that I had activity during 2015 and 2016. But I deleted those videos along with my first song off of SoundCloud. I don't know. I just, I did it a long time ago. Right now, I regret it, but it is what it is. So, I'm here today with this video to explain to y'all why Dokkan is hands down the best gotcha game out there and there is absolutely no debate whatsoever all right look so i've been playing this game for like eight years now so by no means am i like just a new player or something i've been through like seven different accounts with this game on both like global jp all that shit but global is really my main so with that out the way let's not even waste no more time and just get straight into the video so shout out to Bugu for some of this information in this video i fuck with this video i'm linking in the description down below if y'all want to check it out y'all can all right so at the time of me recording this video jp dokkan is actually in its eighth anniversary global is still waiting about five six months before they get that celebration but at the end of the day can we please not sit here and ignore it the fact that this game is on its eighth anniversary this game has been around for eight years and it's still going to be around for future years there's no telling where this game could go in two three seven years from now you know it's like the only dokkan is such a big game that the only way that this game can be killed is if the devs purposely kill it and why the fuck would the devs purposely kill this game it's such a good game they worked so hard on this game for the past eight years so why just go out their way to kill it dokkan is going to be around for a very long time and it already has been around for a long time so that is very good for the longevity aspect of the game like not to spoil the next dokkan video but it literally just logged into my jp account after like years first summon and literally fucking pulled the gods like this game is very like new player friendly like you could be a new player no like units jump in get a login bonus of like 300 gems like i did right here well i got 200 but still you get the point and just you feel me just at least get a decent team with it like it's it's very new player friendly and i yeah i very much like that and even if you pull a old unit bro there's things called easy a's in this game which are basically something that grand cross literally will not go out their way to do and dokkan literally did it like essentially easy a is a mechanic in the game which takes a old trash unusable fucking character revitalizes it re bring that bitch back to life you feel me and just either makes it meta competitive or at least fucking usable like viable you feel me like going back to old units giving them care attention and time you feel me that's 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 very much appreciated like say that say that i just love the second anniversary unit so much of this fucking goku and now they give him an easy a and now oh shit this nigga was trash two months ago but now this nigga raw as fuck and he could take on fucking sale max i don't I'm, I'm gassing it but you get the point i mean overall if you just ask anybody in this community of this game they will pretty much tell you that these devs handle these celebrations very very well and even i'll admit it like there's so much rewards to be had there's so much there's just there's just so much with every single celebration that is fucking amazing the values on the pulls of the banners are literally insane like what other gacha game does that and this is literally not rare bro all celebrations are pretty much worth it like all the rewards that you get are worth your time during these celebrations when you logged in during the sixth anniversary celebration bro which was about two years ago bro dokkan gave out for free for free a total of at least almost four hundred dollars real world dollars worth of their gotcha currency which is dragon stones they gave out 855 dragon stones just through login bonuses through completing the missions and you know stuff like that now if we comprise that with the like amount of stones it takes to do a multi-summit which is only 50 bro that's fucking amazing bro 855 stones you only have to spend 50 every time you summon the pools are amazing so you are guaranteed to at least get a good fucking character out of those 855 stones i guarantee you 
it didn't used to be like that in Dokkan. Dokkan used to not have that many good units, but now since there's like so many new celebrations that we've had, so many banner units, so many movie units, like there's just Oh, there's so much bro then you got old units which can be easy aid it's just like bro whatever units you pull you can pretty much look them up see if they're good or go on the truth channel shout out the truth you feel me shout out the truth i love that man that's the pretty much the og of this shit when it comes to the dokkan shit like he like you know how nagato runs the grand cross like community pretty much yes yes I don't care what you say, Nagato runs the Grand Cross community and the truth pretty much runs this Dokkan community, you feel me? And that's just that's just how it goes. Dokkan has the most generous, effective, smartest, and yet rewarding gacha system that I have ever seen. I swear to God. It is extremely free to play, bro. It provides an endless amount of value that no other gacha game provides. And if it does, that's because it provides fucking waifus with big titties. He's out of line. But he's right. Just like Boogle said in this video, pretty much the only hurdle to, to getting into this game is the fact that you pretty much just don't know what Dragon Ball is. Like, if you have never watched Dragon Ball, if you don't even like Dragon Ball, then that's pretty much going to keep you from getting into this game. The gameplay is very simple, but once you dig deeper, then you start to see, oh, shit, some of these mechanics are actually like, you feel me? Like I did this past year. I've just been playing Dokkan and I've just been noticing like, damn, these attack stats, these defense stats, like, how okay, how can I build a team that can get the most stats out of this? You feel me? Like, I'm building teams around certain characters that I like and I'm building teams around certain sagas of the show that I really enjoyed. Like, you feel me? Like, there's so much fun to have in this game and it's so fucking grindy. Like, but... It, it's, it's like the balance between it being grindy and the fact that it's a mobile game really balance out because you can play this game anywhere no matter what you can pretty much just say you in the doctor's office you waiting to get called i bet pull out dokkan and you finna grind for these little 77 awakening medals that you need to get for fucking super Saiyan 4 gogeta or some shit you feel me like you can play it anytime anywhere like say you in the middle of a match doctor call you you feel me now you gotta go back there you close your phone you close it you feel me Close the application and shit. You leave the doctor's office. You sitting in a you sitting in a car. You feel me? The Uber just pulled off and take you to the crib. Oh, you pull out Dokkan. Now you playing. I really sound like a sponsor of this shit, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a sponsor of Dokkan. But you playing this shit, right? You feel me? And you just like, damn, I already got these 77. By the time you get home. But imagine if you never even played that shit in the hospital waiting room or in the Uber and then you would have had to did it while you at home. You feel me? Like, it's on some shit like, like, if you got free time, you can really get in that bitch and just do it. You feel me? Like, and it's fun. It really is fun to just see how all these different stats build up. All these characters passives just link these links like how all these characters work together is it's very very fun and like i said a huge problem for a lot of these gacha games is that they have old units which pretty much get power crept and just become fodder unusable and are simply forgotten about and pushed to the side in the future once these new units come out but dokkan with their easy a system they really know how to just avoid that issue and yeah like boogle pointed out in his video the potential of this game is just fucking amazing and just like i said earlier bro the fact that this game is connected to the dragon ball franchise and like boogle said in his video bro this game will pretty much never die bro like dragon ball will never die there's like even when toriyama dies like i'm not wishing that shit on toriyama but even when toriyama dies bro dragon ball will continue to go on unless they choose to end it you feel me but they could just keep on changing the fucking colors of these fucking hairs and then just selling this merchandise to the kids and then dragon ball could live on for at least 50 more years but like going past the next 10 years bro there's still countless fucking material to cover bro and it's it bro i'm telling you it'll be very i'm telling you i am telling you it'll be very difficult to kill this game unless the devs intentionally do it this game is the king of all gacha games hands down there is no debate there is no debate grand cross cannot compete um fake grand order whatever the fuck that shit is cannot compete Genshin definitely cannot compete because it's it's just simply not new player friendly. It's not accessible. It's not, you feel me? It's very time consuming. Genshin is so fucking time consuming. I sat there and really tried to build my account up. I really did. I was motivated by my friend Elijah. Shout out Elijah, man. Shout out Elijah. But I was motivated by her. I saw her account. I'm like, damn, how the fuck she get all these? You know what? I'm finna jump in. I jumped in, put that shit on my computer. I jumped in. But I was on that game for about like six days straight. And now if we look at my account, bro, it still ain't shit, really. I am still ain't even past level 60. Like, 
for two of my characters. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, bro. That game is so time-consuming. But Dokkan, bro, literally, bro. Now, along with Dokkan pretty much being the quiet dominator of the gacha market, we also have their art and OSTs. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, so let's start with the OSTs, right? So, just like Boogle said in his video, these people, these developers, they literally put everything they have in these OSTs, bro. Like, the... the mwah, the fucking music is just so fucking beautiful. It's so amazing. The composition is... Oh, my God, bro. The fact that every single unit has this different, like, background music, different original sound. Like, it's, 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 it's honestly overwhelming sometimes just how, just how much they hit it on the spot. You know, like, some music just has to capture a certain scene. And that's what some of this, like, some of this music does for these active skills, bro. Now, when it comes to art, I don't even want to get started, bro. Dokkan's art used to be, in my opinion... That shit used to be a little trash, bro. But the animations which we have now in the game, bro, are literally anime level or even fucking better, bro. Like, just look at these 8th anniversary, like, standby skills, bro. That's what they're called. They introduced, bro, these 8th anniversary units have literally introduced a whole new mechanic into the game, which is called a standby skill. It's pretty much an active skill, but you just pull it down and it's blue. You feel me? And it's like a longer animation. And it's fucking beautiful. It looks like it's straight out of the anime. Literally. No cap. I'm finna show it right now. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason why I still play this game, bro. Is because I love the transformation units. Like, I love seeing these units transform during battle i love seeing those little cutscenes and now i just pulled the gods on my jp account even though i'm supposed to be saving up for the eighth anniversary on my global account and so it's like damn now i'm finna play with the gods because you know i just gotta see that intro animation like there's just so much creativity when it comes to this game three four years ago bro there was no character with the ability that when you first come into the like stage of a battle that they do a fucking animation when they enter like the battle there was that that was non-existent you feel me four or five years ago there was no fucking transformation units you feel me like it's it's crazy bro it really is the, the way that this game is elevating and it's so fast it's elevating so fast that there's no telling where this game will be two three four fucking years from now you feel what i'm saying there's tons of rewards they give old units buffs there's new units that come out that are fucking amazing which sometimes are too amazing and they power creep the old units a little too fast but it's new for, it's new player friendly as fuck it's pretty much an offline game i mean you, you know it's a little online aspect to it you gotta have wi-fi to play it and you can you feel me add friends and shit but it's it's pretty much an offline game bro and it rewards its players handsomely for completing very time consuming activities bro dokkan is amazing you can play it anywhere, anytime. You feel me? It's, it's a very small game. Dokkan compresses its assets to improve the storage management. So that's that's very good. Like, it's about 10 GB, 5, 5, 10 GB, something like that. You feel me? That's a little bit, but it's, it's still something. You feel me? Everybody got fucking big-ass phones now with hella GB on it. So that ain't really shit. It's simple gameplay. Like, on the surface level, players will notice that this game is pretty fucking easy to access. But once you start to really get into it, it gets complex. And I feel this is a perfect balance, especially when it comes to being new player friendly. You feel me? Overall, bro, this game is just fucking amazing. And I love it, bro. So expect more Dokkan content to be coming. Like, I'm literally editing the video where I just logged into my JP account. I want to show y'all that I really do. Like, it was fucking amazing bro i can't pull the guys on my global account but the first summing on my jp account i can pull okay bro okay bro okay bro but i'm finna save up for six months straight um you feel me on my global account for the eighth anniversary because the fact that i just pulled the guys on the first bro with free stones like i logged in and got those free stones and then just summon bro like literally imagine imagine what i'm about to pull when I save my gems and shout out to, um, man, I forgot his name, bro. I really did. But I just subscribed to him like a week ago. So you gotta, you gotta give me that. But I just subscribed to him like a week ago. I will put his channel right here, right now. 
I love this man, bro. He He's literally on point, bro. Like, I go to the truth. I go to the truth for, like, my videos on, like, how I'm supposed to grade these units if they're 55% and shit like that, you feel me? And then I go to his videos on how to, you feel me, save my gems and shit, you feel me, and all that other shit, and how to, how to grind free gems and shit, you feel me? And y'all finna come to my videos to see what the fuck going on and shit, you feel me? So go ahead and hit that sub button, hit that like button, comment down below the next type of videos y'all want to see because i've actually haven't tried cell max i haven't tried super battle road none of that shit i just i just grind stones you feel me and just grind my characters i don't really i don't really do none of that extra stuff but i'm very strong on my global account um i'm pretty sure my global account is showing right now actually so yeah that's my global account uh, just a little showcase, you feel me? A little update. I got a up. I got a. I have a showcase on my channel from about a few like a year ago or something. But this is the update. So I really, really, really though wanted to make this video because of the fact that that step up banner, bro, for January was fucking amazing, bro. That is the best banner I have ever summoned on in Dokkan history. I swear to God on my granny soul, there is no other banner. I will literally go through my acquired units from LR, UR, SSR all the way down from now to about a month ago, which is just January because I'm recording this video at 11.54 a.m. on February 1st, 2023. So if I can, if I literally go to my acquired right now, I will show you guys that I pulled an endless amount of fucking units within the month of january that i have never pulled before that step up banner bro or whatever you want to call it bro it was fucking amazing bro there was no banner that's better than that and i put it on everything bro but nah man in all seriousness i love you guys make sure you like the video so that more people can see it hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can get notified next time i post a video and comment down below why you think dokkan is the best game in your opinion tell you out